Okay, so here's a very quick introduction to dual system theory. Dual system theory was developed by the psychologist Danny Kahneman and is the basis for a lot of behavioural science thinking develops into behavioural economics. System one thinking is when people think quickly, intuitively, immediately, almost subconsciously, automatically. So if I was to ask you the question, what is two plus two? The answer should automatically come to mind. I could perhaps trigger an emotional, immediate emotional response by, by asking you to think of your favourite holiday destination or your favourite night out in the last, last year or so. System one thinking happens immediately. In contrast, system two thinking is much slower, uh, rigorous, often sort of methodological, controlled. It requires effort and is conscious. So if I was to ask you the question, what is 48 times 159? Not many people will find an immediate answer. We have to use quite a bit of brain speed, brain energy, battery life to find the answer. So system one gives you a very quick, immediate gut reaction to something. For example, how you react to a new product in the market. Uh, it's very important that advertising, people tend to form a very quick instinctive impression about some experience perhaps the first 30 seconds of their experience in a hotel has a way disproportionate effect on on how they how they uh, think about their hotel experience and the whole holiday we tend to use system two when we have an important decision to make uh, or when the decision is highly personal to us or when a decision that we make has a big impact on other people. And that, look, that suggests a more deliberative, uh, conscious, considered view is needed. We may face a particular complex problem, which, which pension fund to choose, which saving scheme to enter into, which form of car insurance. So system two tends to kick in when faced with complex issues However, behavioural economics, behavioural science suggests that actually many people uh, whose brain energy is running low allow their system one to take over, even when decisions are important and complex. The gut instinct can be a powerful mechanism for choice. That was a quick look at dual system theory.